Over quarantine, my teeth have gotten significantly more yellow. And this honestly bothered me because me personally, I really like a nice white smile. However, I no longer had this. Maybe it's because over quarantine, I started drinking more coffee. I started drinking more things that would stain my teeth. I was pretty much doing everything that people told me not to do if you wanted to keep a white teeth. And now that they're no longer as white as they used to be, I tried so many different things. I tried baking soda toothpaste. I tried that high smile whitening thing. I tried some whitening strips and honestly I felt like nothing was working for me. And that's when I had the idea to call up a few dentist places near me and ask about their teeth bleaching. I found one place that did it for only $200, so that is exactly what I'm going to be trying right now. I'm going to be seeing if teeth bleaching is actually worth it. And I honestly really hope it is because one, I'm spending $200 on this and then two, I really want to get back to how white my teeth were back then. So anyways, here is a before of my teeth and then right now I'm actually going to be going to the dentist place, but I don't know how this works, I've never gotten my teeth bleached before, but we'll see how this turns out. But anyways, by the end of the video, you'll know that if it's a good option for you to get your teeth bleached, if it's worth the money, if it's safe, anything like that. So without wasting any more time, I'm going to go straight to the dentist place and get my teeth bleached. All right, so I am back from the dentist and here's my smile right now. It is significantly way more white. So anyways, here is the before and here is the after. Basically, I'm gonna be talking about how the entire procedure was and was it worth the money. So in grand total, I spent $200 on this, which is a pretty good price in my opinion. As soon as I walked in, I sat down. The first thing they did was actually give me some Tylenols and some water because I guess it can hurt pretty bad when you have your teeth bleached because of like the whole sensitivity thing. I have pretty decently sensitivity teeth and it didn't really hurt. Anyways, I sat down, they put this thing in my mouth to keep my mouth open the entire time. Then she applied something in my mouth. I'm really not sure what it is. And then she put that little UV blue ray thing. I have no idea what it is actually. She turned off the lights, she put that in my mouth and I sat there doing absolutely nothing. Then it was finally over and I was very excited but then she applied more of that stuff on my teeth and then turned off the lights again and then turned on that blue ray thing and then she did it again and then again. After every single time it started hurting worse and worse, it wasn't so much that my teeth were hurting, but that little UV ray thing was kind of pressuring down on the little tray that was holding my mouth and it started hurting my gums and it was really uncomfortable and I was sitting there for at least like 40 minutes. I'm telling you, it was so uncomfortable and it hurt, but at the end, was it worth it? So like I said, here's the before and here's the after. So as soon as she gave me the mirror and then let me put this thing up to my mouth, which allowed me to see how what was the color of my teeth before, I knew immediately it was worth it. And especially because I have recordings of my teeth before and after, so I could already tell that there is a huge difference on how white my teeth are now. The only problem now is I cannot eat anything with color for the next 48 hours, which actually really sucks because there's so much food in my house and I cannot eat anything of it. But it's definitely going to be worth it because now my teeth are really white again. They're actually the whitest that they ever have been, so I'm very excited about that. And now I could officially say that whitening my teeth was completely worth it. Now let me talk about the cons of whitening your teeth. Of course, it has only been about six hours since I actually whitened my teeth, so I don't know all of them yet. But like I said, I can't eat any colored foods that I like for the next 48 hours. That machine really did hurt my gums. They're good now, but at the time it was really uncomfortable, like I keep mentioning. And then the third con is randomly my teeth will have like a little toothache and it's not even like all my teeth it's just one single tooth so it's not that bad but still it kind of hurts it's kind of it's really weird like i'll be mid conversation with someone and one of my teeth would just start hurting and then like i have to like stop talking and like yeah it's really annoying but after looking it up it is pretty normal and then my dentist also told me that if it hurts too much that i could just take tylenol so it's not that big of a deal it's not a huge inconvenience for me but it is pretty annoying well, like I said, it will be pretty worth it, especially because I was getting really insecure with my teeth. I just kept thinking like, man, I wish they were white again, but now they finally are only for the price of $200. Especially because the teeth that were really yellow for me were my canines. And I think these look like the most aesthetic when it comes to your smile. Those are finally white again, so I'm very excited about that. So if you ever thought about bleaching your teeth before and you're kind of skeptical about it, I highly recommend that you do. There was two options for me. It could be different for everybody else, but there is this one-time teeth whitening procedure and this costed me $200, like I said, and there's other procedures that cost $400. I guess they give you bleach trays and you could use them throughout the entire six months. And this is highly recommended for people who like to drink coffee or just eat stuff that like normally stain your teeth. And that's exactly how I am. However, I wasn't trying to spend $400, so I thought this $200 version would be good for now. 
Maybe in the future, I'll try that $400 one. And if you want to see that later on in the future, I'm probably not anytime soon. I'll probably make a video about it as well. But like I mentioned earlier, I highly advise that you try this out. If you ever wanted to bleach your teeth before and you're on the fence, definitely try it out. But anyways, that is pretty much it for today's video. Today's video is going to be kind of short. I apologize for that. But I did want to make a video about this just in case someone out there did want to try to bleach their teeth, but they're skeptical. Now I'm telling you, do it. But like I mentioned earlier, that's pretty much it for today's video. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Later.